Next question, is it better to receive Social Security benefits and how would that play out if you're already out of the system? First and foremost, um, the BC is the United States citizen. The birth certificate is who receives the benefits, the registered organization. So when we do our Social Security um, removal letters, we're keeping the benefits for the registered organization. We're removing the signatures for the living man or woman that's about all I'm going to say. But uh, you don't lose the benefits for the registered organization. We're defining in law that you're no longer the trustee, no longer the collateral, no longer the surety, but you're the beneficiary of the registered organization. And then we do a notice of fault, opportunity to cure, notice of default, and put it into the public. That is by far the best routine that you could do. Uh, it's called an administrative process. You're, t uh, you're creating your court of record that you can use at any time in the future. And those benefits, quote unquote, that are not benefits, they are earned interest. Um, when I was a kid, uh, I, I, I apparently signed an illegal contract um, to enter into a system to be, become an employee of the United States. I was not of, of an age of majority to be able to do that, an age of maturity to be able to do that. I was not an adult. And um, my parents did not even uh, sign the document. I literally went down there at 13 years old and signed it myself. And, uh, and I thought I was doing something great. And guess what? Um, I had no idea they flipped that from a retirement package to a federal benefit. And that's not what I signed up for. I didn't agree with the flipping. Um, and as they're stealing, raping, and ravaging this nation and other nations, these are the types of things that they're doing. And so we accept the, uh, the payment that is due uh, for the registered organization. And you'll, you'll understand when you read our, our letters.